So you've got Windem 1 installed, you're ready to get your permanent license, what do you do now? Welcome to the instructional video. My name is Jeremiah and today we're going to be talking about how to license Win911. Let's dive in. First thing we want to do is open up a browser, go to win911.com, we'll hover on the support tab and go down to knowledge base. You can just type in licensing and you'll see the KB article licensing your Win911 software. This is going to be your complete guide for every step that you're going to need. Uh, there's a little bit of an introduction here and really two main steps. So everyone's got to register the Win91 software first, have some prerequisites, have some information about our business hours, and a link here to the software registration. So go ahead and click that link to get started. It takes you to our new registration page. And you're going to have some required fields to fill out. So the first thing here is your serial number. Well, when you first purchase the software, you should have received an email that looks like this coming from our license department, and it has your serial number along with some different uh, product information, it's mobile gateway and temporary password, and some other instructions here. So you're gonna take that serial number, start putting in your information, email address to receive license activation key that's an important one make sure you're putting in something that you have uh, access to because you're gonna need that activation key moving forward and just continue through the required fields fill everything out now when you get down to this section for this copy information customer care contact information same as above so what this is uh, you, you've seen things similar to this uh, with maybe purchasing something online and you have the, the shipping information and you can just check the box if the billing info is the same. Um, the only difference here is you could be purchasing the software and filling out all of this information up top. Maybe you're a, a systems integrator or a distributor and, and you're the one that's getting the information put in up top, but there could be a different uh, contact here for the customer care information. And so it's important here that the Win91 customer care contact and company, uh, that that is used for sending out the renewal notices. So this is going to be the contact who's actually going to be paying for that, uh, what used to be just a support program, now we're calling it customer care. So that's the one big difference there. Make sure you put in the right contact for renewals. And to continue going through this, fill out the fields, click submit. Alright, so when you're done with the registration process, you're going to get an email that looks just like this. It has your serial number, your license activation key, along with some instructions. You have uh, one option, online licensing. We're about to go through that, as well as offline licensing. And a YouTube video that you should be watching right now, going through the knowledge base article that we're going through right now in the video you're watching. So, option one, your Win number one machine has internet access. If you have internet access, go ahead and follow this process here. Step one, you're going to go to this link, and it has pretty good instructions here on the page. You just want to put in that uh, license activation key. So I'm going to go ahead and throw in mine from the email. Click next, and it will show your Win Nama 1 Interactive version 4 status is available and activate licenses. And you'll see that it shows the Win91 Interactive license, status is available, select the container, and this is just get that container from code meter automatically, activate selected licenses. This is gonna automatically transfer it to the machine running Win911 as long as you're doing it here with the internet access. You can see the steps there. So we're at importing license update from Code Meter container, creating the receipt, which sent back to Code Meter, and it's uploading that receipt now, and we're good to go. So you see license transfer completed successfully. Just click OK. And you'll see the status here, the container number activated, 
You should also be able to go down here to your system tray icons, click on that code meter control center window and you see a new WinM01 license. And if, uh, if you have a demo container that was already in here, you wanna make sure that you click on it to highlight it and then click on remove license to get rid of it. Just, we're gonna cover that back in the KB article. So this walks you through all the steps that we just did, confirmed that uh, the license shows available, click on activate, shows you the progress window, now it shows activated, and then from the code meter control center, you should be able to see that Win911 license and the fact that it is activated like we just saw in my VM. And then this important note here, if there is a demo container, make sure that you click it, click remove license. Do you really want to erase a selected license? Click OK. And that's it. You just go ahead and reboot your computer and uh, you should be good to go. Okay, moving on now here. So this is the other option. So if your Win91 system does not have in internet access, here's the steps you want to follow. It's uh, almost just as easy, just a couple other steps here. So you want to go ahead and make sure that on the Win91 machine, you open up Code Meter Control Center. Again, you do that by clicking on your system tray icons. Click on that green circular icon here, Code Meter Control Center. And for this situation, you want to make sure that you do have a empty container in that box. I should show status empty license container. So from that empty container, you're gonna highlight it, you're gonna click activate license, and you're gonna click next on the next screen that pops up for create license request. You're gonna choose a path to save that file. You can put it wherever you want, just throw it straight on your desktop or particular folder, and it's gonna drop out that file that looks similar to this. And you just move that file to a machine that does have internet access. So send the file in an email, copy it to a thumb drive. Uh, if you're on a network that you can just share it with another machine that does. Whatever you wanna do, get that file to a machine with internet access and then go back to the same link. And when you get back to the link, it takes you to that license portal and you follow the same steps as far as this activation key, All right? So again, that came from the email that you were sent right here license activation key and you're gonna put it in here click next rehost license this is because I already did it now when you get to this point you're gonna do the offline activation link all right so we go back to the knowledge base article when you get to this point where you've put in the license activation key it should bring you to the offline activation upload request page right so my example here because we just already we already just licensed this machine right so it's already activated normally it would bring you straight to that offline activation which is always going to be linked right there it looks just like this and you're going to go ahead and confirm that all licenses are selected upload the license request file that you just moved over to the machine with internet access and when you're here there's the choose file option and you're just going to upload the file and again that is the file that was uh dumped out from the license request above here and these other steps it looks just like this and you're going to have different numbers here so upload that file click start activation now and on the download update page you're going to click download license update now and click next all right the file that it's going to spit out is going to look like this you're going to have different numbers here in, in the numbers of the hashtag signs here you're going to take that file and move it back to your win one machine right so we're just doing these extra steps of moving the file over and then moving uh, the actual license file back because you don't have internet on the Win911 machine. So you move it over and you can just double click that file. Once it is on the Win911 machine, it should automatically drop it into the Code Meter Control Center. If it doesn't for some reason, just drag and drop the file right into the window and it will activate that empty container and turn it into something that looks just like this, where it has the kind of greenish blue hue and license activated. And you have a screenshot of that just to show you that it does show license activated. That's what you're looking for. And another section reminding you down here that if you have the Win91 demo license container, make sure you highlight it by clicking on it. Click remove license, click OK. And then there's one last step here because we didn't do it from the online version. All you want to do is um, upload that license receipt. So you may remember that that happened automatically in the uh, last online version. So this time you're going to have to do it manually. So from the same window, click license update. 
click create receipt and it's going to ask you where you want the file to be dropped into and then transfer that file back to the computer with internet access go back to the portal uh, if you did close the web page on the machine with internet access then you will just need to re-enter that license activation key and then click continue license transfer upload the license receipt file so it'll look like this upload receipt now a little red button and then you'll see license transfer successfully completed and you should see that the status is now activated and that is it